Hey guys, Michael here. It's a gorgeous day outside. The sun is shining. There's barely a cloud in the sky. Birds are chirping and this is a nice good breeze coming in. It's a gorgeous day. So, what does this do have to do with the tutorial? Nothing. It's just a gorgeous day out. I just couldn't resist recording outside for today. So, what is today's tutorial? Well, you guys may recall that back on my news, I said for Ubuntu users, if you guys upgrade to 13.04, the VLC method, which you replace files, that doesn't work. Now, believe me when I say this, I tried everything. I tried reinstalling old packages that were from 12.04. From I did a whole bunch of stuff. It never worked. It, the drive kept rejecting. So, this method is pretty much for users who are using 13.04. This is the only way to play Blu-ray movies and VLC. Now, this, this requires a program, and this program is universal. It works on Windows, it works on Mac, and of course it works on Linux. It's just, and technically, this tutorial is just going to be going over how to install it for Linux, and then after that, it's pretty much universal by telling you how to set it up and how to open it in VLC. So, also, this way is absolutely flawless. This method will play every disc you have, even the most recent, even the ones that VLC couldn't play. The only catch is, it's 50 bucks. Yes, I know, I know it sucks. However, it does come with a 30-day trial, so you guys can have about a month of playing Blu-ray movies on VLC. So, like I said, the first part of this tutorial is going to be geared towards Linux users because, well, they have to do a little bit more than just simply clicking install. After that, the next part is pretty much universal. Still, I'm going to be using Ubuntu for this tutorial, but it's pretty much the same thing with the other versions, Windows, and of course, Mac. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. All right, so for this first half of the tutorial, this is for the Ubuntu 13.04 users, as they have to do a little bit more than just installing. Windows and Mac, however, it's just a simple executable. You can download it and install it, bam. So, if you're a Windows and Mac user, go ahead and skip to the second half of this tutorial. Alright, so go to the Make MKV or www.makemkv.com just for keeping it all simple and everything. I'm just going to dub it MKV. So go under Download. And again, for those who didn't skip to the next part of the tutorial, Windows, Mac, download your appropriate ones. Linux, however, they have to go to the form page, like it says all the way up here. Now, thankfully, they actually tell you how to install it, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you anyway. Go ahead and download both of these files. Then, while you're waiting for those downloads to finish, go ahead and open up a terminal. According to the website, it says that you have to install some programs first before installing. And that is sudo apt-get install build essential libc6-dev libssl-dev lib XPAT1 div LIBGL1 MISA dot dev lib QT4 dev and hit enter. Put in your password. And there you go. Now, of course, I have already installed it, so I don't have to do it. just like I did for the two files. I already downloaded them. Go to your downloads folder. 
go ahead and do right click and do extract here for both files and go ahead open up another terminal and at this point it doesn't really matter what you do first because it really just depends depends on uh, what you're gonna do to it so just go ahead and let's just do the bin file first let's go ahead and change the directory to that hit enter Whoops. now what we want to do is do make dash f make file dot linux hit enter of course you can skip all this by hitting q type in yes hit enter and the last thing to do is what it says sudo make dash f make file install copy paste hit enter and of course I already installed this but put in your password and now it'll be installed and go ahead and do the same thing for the other file too just make sure that you change the directory to that file hit enter hit enter of course do the same thing and the thing will go ahead and build it as you see right here it's a little bit different all this code right here so when that thing's done you can go ahead and do do the same exact thing make install sudo make make dash f make file dot linux install that's what you can do of course again i've already done it so it's already installed so let's go ahead and go to the next part of the tutorial. All right, one last thing for Ubuntu users. Just search make MKV or MKV and it will show up in your search results. And let's just make a little directory right here. All right, now, everyone. <laughs> Go ahead and open up your Make MKV program. Now make sure that you do have a Blu-ray disc and a Blu-ray drive connected to your computer when you do this. Now the next part is go ahead, let it do its thing by scanning your scanning the drive, finding everything that you need. And the next part, it's gonna get a little technical. All right, I found everything. So, go ahead and hit stream. Now, this is where it gets a little technical, and let's go ahead and open up VLC while we're waiting for that thing to get set up. Alright, so the thing's all set to go. All we need to do is use a program to stream it. Like I said, since we opened up VLC, all we have to do is go under Media, Open Network Stream. Now do HTTP slash slash localhost colon five one zero 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 dash stream dash. Now you can go ahead and do like title tell to four six whatever but the default is usually title tell zero and that's usually where your movies are hit enter and if you did it right you should see what the client is and everything and you'll start watching your movie to turn it off all you have to do is hit the cancel button right here hit yes the thing will stop and that's how you play Blu-ray movies using the Make MKV and VLC. Well, that's how you play Blu-ray movies with VLC using the MKV program. 
Now, of course, like I said, it's 50 bucks, but it's a 30 day trial. So try it out, see what you think. So don't, also, don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Also, take a look at my other tutorial videos as well. Until then, see you next time.